Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna unpack the makeup that I brought on my vacation. I actually just got back, like, yesterday. I'm still, I still have vacation brain, is what my boyfriend calls it. I don't know what days of the week are anymore. <laughs> so we actually just got back, like, yesterday or the day before, and I haven't unpacked this yet, and since today is the first day I'm actually doing my makeup, since I'm back, I thought it'd be fun to actually go through my bag and just unpack and as I unpack show you everything that I brought on my vacation. So this was just for my vacation and this all is just makeup. I did have all of my skincare in a different bag um, but since we drove to our vacation it was actually really easy to take more. <laughs> like if I were flying or going somewhere like that I'd probably have to pack a lot less. So this wasn't for any of the work trips which actually they both ended up getting canceled at the last minute. This was just for my vacation and I actually wore the majority of this makeup on my vacation. <laughs> So yeah, first about the bag. I've had this bag for over a year now and I absolutely love it. It's from Victoria's Secret. I got it like on sale. It was like on a super clearance rack a couple of years ago and it was like $20. But I think originally it was $50. I would never have gotten this for $50. But for like the $19.99 that I got it for, I think it was really worth it. So what you get here is two sides. This side is built in with a zipper and then if you pull this side out this entire bag comes out and then you have another zipper back here with some uh, makeup wipes that I've put in and a mini color switch that I have in here so first I want to go through this little bag where I try to keep all of like my liquid and like liquid adjacent <laughs> products and then in here I try to keep all of like my powder products so there really isn't going to be a neat way to do this so I think I'm just gonna dump it all out <laughs> Okay, so for my primer, I brought my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It is one of my favorite primers of all time. I still have a little spatula in here from the Tatcha. I did buy the full-size Tatcha primer first, and I did do a comparison video against this e.l.f. one, and honestly, I thought the e.l.f. one was 10 times better. So I did bring this. You know, as you'll see, like right over here, I did pick up a little mini sample size, not sample, this is like the mini size of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I did go to a Sephora during my vacation, so I picked up a couple of things you'll see around here. This was one of them, this is actually brand new, and I'm not going to touch it until I get the new Makeup Revolution Putty Primer, because it's also supposed to be a dupe for this. And what I want to do for that video is I want to compare that Makeup Revolution one to the e.l.f. and then also compare it to the Tatcha. So I wanted to make sure I had the Tatcha on hand, so I picked this up at Sephora. I think this mini goes for around 20 or 25 dollars. I also brought this Scandinavia makeup primer spray with me just because it was small, it's a travel size, and it was easy to take with me. Um, I did like putting this on right after I finished my skincare, letting it sink in, and then I actually went in with the e.l.f. primer and then did the rest of my makeup. So I did bring a foundation that was a bit too dark for me and a light mixer only because... <laughs> This is my favorite matte primer, not matte primer, this is my favorite matte foundation, and it is almost gone. Like, I do have to cut this open soon to start scraping out the rest of it. When I'm traveling, I normally don't like bringing a white mixer or anything I have to mix, because that's more work you have to do. You have to bring either a palette or use something at the hotel. So it is a bit more work, but with how hot it was, it was October, and I was hoping in DC it'd be a little bit chillier. But no, it, our first day there, it was 95 degrees and it was 75% humidity. <laughs> so I'm glad I brought this because this is really the only thing that kept everything on my face. <laughs> but for the most part, if I am traveling, I wouldn't bring something I had to mix. I would bring something more like this. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. This is the only stick foundation that actually works for me. I adore this. I got the shade F2 because the rest of the, sh the other shade that I had, I originally had this in a much darker shade and it did not work at all. But this shade is actually fairly close to me. I think it is still a little bit too dark, but I can wear this on its own and not look insane. So I did wear the Too Faced one on the first day and then the rest of the days, it actually did feel like fall. So I did wear this and this is also a lot easier and quicker to apply. Speaking of the heat, the next product I have in here is the concealer that I brought. So I brought this, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Um, this one is in the shade Ivory, which you can see this is almost gone down here. We went to a Target close to our hotel, so I did pick up another one, same shade, it's an Ivory. I haven't opened this one up yet since I'm using this one up. But this is the only concealer I can wear when I'm sweating. 
every other concealer tends to break down, but this one holds fast and it looks amazing. It's been my holy grail for the whole summer. So I will keep using this until it's no longer disgustingly hot outside, at which point I can move along to the rest of the concealers that I actually really love in my collection. I also brought a salmon colored like color corrector with me. This is from LA Girl and this is the Pro Conceal just in the shade Peach Corrector. Peach Corrector. And I think I used this the first day. Um, I don't think I need a color corrector like this unless I'm going to like work and I feel really tired or like my bags look a little bit deeper than usual. I really didn't need to bring this with me but I did use it once out of the three days that I did wear makeup. And yes, this is all because I did wear a full face of makeup for three of our vacation days. All right, the loose powder that I brought was from AOA Studio. This is the Shop Miss A brand, and I actually love this setting powder. I am about to film a follow-up video from my Shop Miss A haul, so that will be coming up soon, but this is one of the products that I absolutely, like, need to repurchase, like, immediately. It's awesome. Let's see, let's see. These are all lipsticks. Let's do the eye products next. So for my brows, I did bring this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. It is the wrong shade for me. It is a really warm brown. I love the formula of this though. It's so good. I just wish this came in a black or like a cool brown, <laughs> just not a warm brown. I like my, I basically like my brows black and I just, Oh, I just wanted to get use out of this because I do love the the formula. I just I'm so, I'm so upset that it doesn't come in black. So I think it is a bit dry. I feel like it doesn't have as much product in it, but I'll probably just I don't know. I did buy my favorite drugstore clear brow gel. I bought two of these. There was a NYX store at the mall we went to, so I got the NYX Control Freak. So I'll probably make this an empty. It's been around for a while. I've had it for a few months now so I can probably put this in my empties drawer and open up one of these because these are like four dollars each and they're actually really good so I'll stick to these. For eyeliners I brought two NYX jumbo eye pencils just in milk and in black bean. I did use the milk so I did use the white eyeliner. I didn't really use the black. We didn't really go out at night. We did most of our uh, touristy things at, at daytime. Jesus, vacation brain. During the day we didn't really go out for dinners or anything so I didn't really use the black. So I called, could have left the black at home but I did use the white one just about every day. I only brought one other eyeliner and one mascara both from ColourPop. I brought the ColourPop volumizing mascara in black and then I brought the ColourPop liquid liner in brown. I actually think the liquid liner is decent. I am still on the fence about the mascara. I'm not done using this one up, but then whenever I finish this one, I do have a brown mascara. So I'm gonna finish both of those up and then give my final thoughts on this. So far, I'm just like meh about the mascara, but I do think the liner is actually pretty good. I kind of wish I'd also gotten a black liner, but the brown liner is nice. And I did wear both of these every day. I also had my eyelash curler in here that desperately needs to be cleaned. Today I will be cleaning all of my makeup brushes and everything here, of course, because they do need a good clean. For eye primer, I brought the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I actually really like this as an eye primer and not so much as something I would actually use for a cut crease, um, but this is actually getting a bit empty. So I do want to see how much of this I can use up. I don't know if I can pull the stopper out of this and actually scrape out the rest of it, but this is a great eye primer. I do like it. It's in the shade Illustrate, which is my closest shade match, even though it is a bit cool, but it is my closest shade match and it's actually just a great eye primer and I use this every day. You don't have to bring a separate eye primer like this. I could have easily just used my concealer, but I'm trying to finish that up and I actually really like it. Last but not least, we have the liquid lipsticks that I brought. I brought Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in Rebel Rose and I brought two black lipsticks, one from Ofra in the shade The Bronx and then I brought the black lipstick from, I believe this is Black Moon Cosmetics and this is the shade Sleepwalker. I wore Rebel Rose a couple of times and I wanted to test out the black lipsticks but honestly, I didn't get to use them that much. I was hoping I could wear them like as we were out and about and do some more wear tests, but I didn't get as much use out of them as I would like, so I will continue testing these out along with the rest of the black lipsticks I have for my upcoming video, which I'm hoping to get out before Halloween. Okay, so now that we're done with everything over on this side, let's unzip this side and look at all of the powders along with some of the things that I picked up while I was on vacation.
All right, so first things first, I did bring my subculture palette with me. Um, I did get a few comments because I'm like terrified of traveling with my ABH palette since they are so fragile, but I have gotten some comments and messages from people that have taken this traveling, even in like checked baggage on airplanes and that these palettes have survived. So I did feel a bit better about taking this. So I did bring this and I did use this daily. I was using this for my brows, I was using this for my eyeshadow in combination with the other palette that I did bring. I don't want to open it because I did actually make some good progress this month and you've got a lot to look forward to in the next update. I also brought one of my other favorite palettes for traveling. This is the original Lorac Pro palette. I just love this because it's very neutral but you can go from like a very soft neutral look to a very deep smoky glam look. I love the shimmers in here and also all of these shades are perfect multitasking shades if you're someone who has like dark hair. This is perfect for your eyebrows. Over here you can use this in your hairline. You can use this for so much which is why like I always bring this when I'm traveling because it's just Ah, it's great. I love the shimmers. I use the shimmers a lot, light bronze and gold and champagne with a lot of the shades from my subculture palette. So I did reach for this on the daily along with my subculture. I brought some options for my face powders. I brought my 9 pan 19 powders just because I just, I don't know. I thought I would take this opportunity to take a break from this since I did hit pan on the blush and I am making some good progress on both of the other shades. But I actually ended up reaching for these more often than the other palette, which is actually my favorite palette for traveling with. And this is the original Tarte Clay Play Face Palette. I love this thing. It is literally the perfect, hello you guys, <laughs> the perfect thing for traveling. Oh, look, there I am. So this is like literally the perfect thing for traveling. You have three eyeshadow quads. You can also use these, again, as good multitasking shades as a nice black shade. There's some dark browns. There are some light shades. And then you've got three shades here on the bottom for bronzing and contouring. They're honestly like amazing. The formula is amazing. I love the shadows and I love the powders in here. This is like the perfect contour shade. Ah. This is a bit too dark for me to use, but if I mix this with this and use a light hand, it does take out a lot of the orange in this shade. So honestly, this is just like my go-to travel palette. I love it, the shadows are great. And I actually wasn't reaching for it as much as I thought I would since I did bring my 9 Pan 19, but this is still my favorite travel face palette. And it has a nice big mirror, which is another big plus. I did bring this mainly for the shadows but also for the mirror because I did prop this up against this bag in the hotel room to do my makeup every day. I brought one face powder. This is the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Compact Powder Foundation. I have the shade Ivory which I think is the lightest shade. Uh, this is just a nice luminous full coverage face powder which is great for setting the foundations that I brought with me. It gives just a little bit of a glow like it, I don't look dewy with this it still sets my matte foundations and still looks great throughout a full day and it just adds coverage when you need it so I actually really like this powder and I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on it yet I think there is a lot of product in here I did get this for just a couple of dollars at like a Harman's Beauty next I brought the highlighter from my Lust for Lux project pan because I really wanted to get some more use out of this. Let me see, let me open this off camera. I've made some progress, but I am also going to film a Lust for Lux update not too long after this. So check in for that update to see how much progress I've made on this highlighter because this is by far the most progress I've made out of that entire project. But then again, that project is six months long and we're only like a month in. So I think I've got plenty of time. Last but certainly not least, we have the products that I picked up from Sephora when I was on vacation. So the first one is the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. I have been on the fence about this for so long and I finally went in and was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this. Like, I, I wanna get it. It has not been used or swatched yet, so I do need to play with that. I haven't done my makeup yet today, but I think today I am going to go in with this beauty right here. I did pick up the Metropolis palette. I was on the fence for so long about this, but I thought, you know what? These are grungy. These are shades that I'll actually use. And I love the way that Liz from Liz Plans and Pans rearranged the shades in here. And I'm definitely going to copy her and rearrange the shades in here because it's like a grungy rainbow and I'm living for it. 
today I'm probably going to play with this palette. So I'm going to see how the shades actually work and then I'm probably going to rearrange it. But I have not actually dipped into this yet. I was actually so on the fence about this, even within the store, because I was thinking about like those new Norvina palettes and everything, but I was looking around and I was like, there's literally nothing else that I actually want right now. This is the only thing that I actually like really wanted. So I got it. All right, and so that was everything that I brought and wore and bought <laughs> while I was on vacation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys wear makeup on vacation. I know a lot of people just go all vacation without it, but I still like taking the time to do a full face. I enjoy it. This is my hobby, so this might seem a bit excessive for a five-day vacation where I wear makeup three days, but... It's my hobby <laughs> and I really like doing it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, my wrist just cracked there. Did you hear that? Jesus. <laughs>